Hello everyone, this is Ryan Jost. I'm here on my blog, ryanjost.com, to show you my personal branding and identity design project. So my goal is I needed to find a, a logo that I could personally use. I can't use this one, this is actually somebody else's. <laughs> so here I am on my website, and this post will go through my creative process in, in, my, in creating this project. So to begin off, I, I just did some personal research. I just asked my Facebook friends, hey, what do you think of when you think of me, when you think of my name? Um, people were really kind. This was a huge ego boost to me, I'll be completely honest. Um, people were, <laughs> were really funny and really kind. Um, so a, a lot of things that people said is very nice, um, very fun-loving, um, and accepting, different things like that. So they said some really positive things, and I needed to try to incorporate that into my design. But also, you know, I just did some market research to see what else was out there, uh, what had people done, and what did I like. And so I created this Pinterest board that you can access. Um, I have a link to it on my blog. And I just went through and I just pinned a few things that I liked that I thought were really cool looking logos. You can see some very kind of flat design, very simple shapes and things like that, which I appreciate. Um, and then also there's quite a bit of throwback, kind of vintage logos, kind of stuff like that. Um, so those are things that I tried to incorporate into my design. And also I just tried to, to make it so that I could appeal to what people thought of me. It was fun-loving and things like that. So here are some of my initial sketches. Uh, I went through and, and sketched them up. You can click on these and you can see them a little larger. Um, this is some of my digital process. I generally will create a logo on a board and then I'll kind of move it over and try something different on a different board. So these are several different ideas that I tried and, and a lot of them you can kind of see an evolution of ideas to be able to come up with some of these more finished products. Um, that are towards the bottom. So I had some ideas that I liked and that I decided to go with, and these were the four that I decided on. I was supposed to do three for this project, but I have four that I really like. Um, this one I like because it has some of my favorite colors. I love this green. I know Brother Libert can't see that, but I can. I love this green. I think it's a really cool color. Um, also, I just like the really rounded, kind of fun-shaped edges. I feel like that really represents me. Um, another one I did was I created this. This is my last name. It's pronounced Joe, so I know it's weird. I did this actually using these O's, and then I made all the shapes just by manipulating these O's. I feel like it's really fun. It's a clean design, which I really like, and it's very, very simple. So the other ones I did, um, I feel like the brackets are important to me because I am a web designer. I love doing web stuff. I love coding. So I did the brackets to do that. Um, and then the RY, I kind of felt like it was a, pl a clever um, play off of the RX for prescription. And I think that's kind of cool. And this one, um, Courier, is one of my favorite fonts. Um, I use it in a lot of my different designs. So I com combined the R and the Y, and once again, I had the brackets. I know it's a very similar concept with the, as the RY and the other one, but I still like it. I think it's a cool logo. Um, so as far as which one I'm going to use, it's kind of a toss-up at this point. I honestly don't know if I have a clear direction. I think my personal favorite of this uh, section that I did had to be right here. Uh, I think this is one of my, one of my favorites. I have some mock-up versions that I did here. Um, and if I don't go with that one, I'll probably go with this one. I feel like it fits my field very well, and I just like the way that it looks. Um, some of the problems that I had were, you know, I was always concerned about colors because I'm honestly not the best about choosing them. So a lot of these colors, a lot of these designs are black and white, um, but I feel like I did a good job in overcoming that just because the colors I chose, I really do enjoy. And from the feedback that I received from other people, they felt the same. So this is my project. Thank you so much for visiting uh, this video. Please check out my blog, leave some comments, show me some love. Anyways, thank you so very much. Bye.